All right, I'm going to talk about the Bluetooth function in the new GA800 drive from Yaskawa. Now I've got the drive powered up. The first thing I'm going to do is set parameter A1-12, which is the Bluetooth ID number that allows me to connect to it from my smartphone using the Drive Wizard mobile app from Yaskawa. I'll open up the app and I'll go to Manage Products. From here, I'm going to scan the QR code on the front of the drive. And at that point, all of the information relevant to this specific drive is uploaded to the app, uh, serial number, um, capacity, and such. And then at this point, I can register this drive to the Yaskawa Drive Cloud, uh, which allows me to back up and restore the parameters at any time without actually having to plug into the drive with a laptop. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into the smart operator and connect via Bluetooth to the drive. Uh, this is where I need to remember that ID code I set earlier in parameter A1-12. So I set it as a random number, 1001. I'm going to go ahead and enter that here. And it is important that you remember to set that parameter because if you do not, you will not be able to connect to the drive and the application won't function. Once connected, the drive status is displayed, and I can go to the Smart Operator menu and see all of these options here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Change Parameter Settings option and look at the parameters of the drive. And navigating through the parameters from the smartphone is much more convenient than using the keypad on the front of the drive and referencing the manual for the parameter descriptions and such. So let's say I want to change the FLA of the motor. Uh, I got it from the nameplate, uh, and it's a little bit lower than the factory setting. So I go ahead and put that in, and the value is saved uh, directly to the drive. I can do that with any number of parameters. But another thing I want to look at is the auto-tuning feature uh, from the Escawa Drive mobile app. And it really is something, being able to tune a VFD for the specific application it's going to be used in, especially when it's done from the smartphone. Go ahead and confirm the auto-tuning procedure. It goes through it pretty quick, um, and it's going to come back and tell me all the parameters that were changed. Um, from there, I can just save these parameters, and actually what we'll do is I'll show you how to upload these to the cloud. So navigating through the Smart Operator menu, select Manage Parameters, and you have the options to back up, verify, and restore. I'm going to go ahead and back up those parameters that we changed. Those are going to be saved in the Escawa Drive cloud now. So those can be restored at any time in the future uh, without the parameter file and a laptop and a cable and a manual with the parameter descriptions. And not to mention the fact that the application is free as is registration on the Yaskawa Drive Cloud, offering a convenient way to backup and restore parameters without using a laptop and the necessary drive software. So there you have it, some of the uh, new features of the Yaskawa GA800 drive. As always, feel free to visit our website at bluebayautomation.com or give us a call. We'd love to be a part of your next project.